Hello and welcome to the upload for Tuesday the 13th of August. Today, those cowboys, they'd be quaking in their boots. First up, and QuakeCon happened over the weekend, so announcements, they did too. And there were a few. Most importantly was of course our first taste of Doom Eternal. A 20 minute gameplay video filled to the brim with nostalgia and gore. I am so very in. It was also announced that the Doom sequel will indeed be launching on the Switch alongside the other platforms and will feature single player DLC, something heavily requested from the first game. And for the people that were excited about QuakeCon 4, the Quake, Quake Champions is now permanently free to play. How good! There was also a heavy dose of Rage 2, showcasing some more fun gameplay and mechanical glory from that game. And Fallout 76 of course got some attention with the game's new perk system discussed, as well as the reveal of a photo mode in an entirely online game. Pretty intriguing. There was more news from QuakeCon, and there's a playlist down below of all the featurettes and gameplays that were all dropped. All exciting, but remember the quiet man? That was pretty exciting, it was from E3, don't remember, well uh, this is, it's a story about that. Square Enix held a live stream showcasing a few of their upcoming games, a bit of Tomb Raider over there, a bit of Kingdom Hearts over there, but the draw point was the 40 minute gameplay session of The Quiet Man. Admittedly, I still have no clue what to expect. The live stream revealed that the game will be HUDless, with on screen colour changes denoting button presses and the condition of the game's protagonist Dave. Dave? We also found out the game will run at just over three hours. So a short game packed full of fun and interesting ideas. Hopefully, and look, more Smash Bros characters, somehow. I got a bit of a blocked nose. Part of the Smash Nintendo Direct was denoted to, of course, dropping some more characters and locations for the Switch title. These are those characters. Simon and Richard Belmont, Chrom, Dark Samus, and the sneaky NTs of King K. Rule. And for those fans that feared that Nintendo had revealed that Luigi was dead, Auntie Ninty confirmed that Green Mario is safe. A few locations were also revealed, including Dracula's Castle. This level alone will feature 34 music tracks. The game as a whole will feature over 800 tracks. How <laughs> good! Moving on, and Red Dead Redemption 2 dropped a gameplay feature. <laughs> That's all. Go watch. Something else that you'll be able to watch soon is the Sonic the Hedgehog film. And now, Sonic has been cast. Ben Schwartz will be voicing the CGI creation in the 2019 film. Ha! Ah, oh, don't worry about it, it's fine. We also know that Jim Carrey's Eggman will in fact be a mixture of prosthetics and CGI. The more I hear about this film, the less I feel like I really know. But something I do know is that buying stuff can be fun. Thinking about picking up a graphics card? Well, if you go the AMD route and nab one of their latest cards, you'll get three free games. Star Control Origins, meh. Strange Brigade, hmm. And Assassin's Creed Odyssey, ooh. That's right, picking up one of these cards will come along with codes for the three titles. They'll be unlockable when the games actually drop. What a snazzy idea. Some other things that you can buy. An officially awesome Resident Evil 2 inspired typewriter keyboard. Releasing to coincide with a remaster of the classic title. You'll need 700 bucks though. You'll need a further $500 for this sleek translucent blue PS Pro. This one releasing to coincide with 500 million consoles sold worldwide, but there'll only be 50,000 units sold worldwide, which seems odd for something celebrating 500 million that you wouldn't just, I don't know, make 500 million of them. But at the same time, it was 500 million over the course of the PS4's entire lifespan. That's a fair point, Will. Trailer watch! Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet dropped a sneaky peek at their new film. Filled with more Disney princess action and an awesome new world steeped in Fast and the Furious Mad Max nonsense. And Gal Gadot. Well, well, who are you? I think we should get out of here. Slaughterhouse Rules stars Simon Pegg, Nick Frost and Michael Sheen and it's set in a boarding house with a sinkhole and terrifying creatures. Do I really need to say more? The Nutcracker in the Four Realms is a Disney film that is full of peculiar whimsy and dark tales but without a Burton in sight. This trailer is highly on Disney whilst also being entirely Disney at the same time and that could be a good thing. Also, Good Mythical Morning dropped its season 14 trailer is good. All right, upvote time. What the hell just happened? A 70 year old man in Taiwan is still playing Pokemon Go. 
Oh, and in addition to this, he also has strapped 11 phones to his bike and just rides around his local area collecting Pokemon as he goes. He's staying active and he's staying nerdy. But that is all the gaming news I've got for today. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit that like button and also subscribe for more stuff. And jump on over and give our Facebook and Instagram pages their respective followables too. Also, we have a Patreon. There's now 14 beautiful humans that have dropped by and now dropped into our super secret Discord. Just $2 will get you in there. But remember, it's your money. Look after yourself first. But until the next one, the Doctor of Who out. Oh, and also there's two videos up there you can watch and you can subscribe over there. And also Josh and I will have a podcast up later tomorrow night, I guess. Uh, and it'll be on SoundCloud. So go to the SoundCloud link down below. Slurring a little bit. I got a little bit of a blocked nose. I think Will's got a little bit of a cold. So, uh... I guess this video is over now.